Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, uh, here's a flip through of this chunk. So I'm gonna kinda go through and show you what's inside and how I'm using it. Um, and I will mention where a few things are from as well. If you have any questions about where something's from and I didn't mention it, um, just comment in the comments below and I will let you know. So this little guy is actually from a Unicorn Planner. Jade has these in her shop and they're absolutely adorable. Um, this tassel is from Hot Pink Fluff. It's one of my favorites. It says Vanessa put a little unicorn on there. So I have that. I just have some odds and ends here and of course another unicorn. And then at the top, another unicorn. <laughs> I have this, which is the charm from Glitter for Breakfast, which was a workshop put on by Growing Meadows. This unicorn is from the kids section at Michael's. <laughs> and this little hot air balloon is from Michael's as well. So this traveler's notebook, I actually handmade. I purchased the leather at Michael's and bought the tool to punch the holes, which I have four, and this one as well. And then I actually used yarn to do the stitching because I love stitching. <laughs> so we will jump right in here. So this is kind of my war binder on the go planner um, for quick reference. So. It does go with me everywhere and is quite a chunk. <laughs> so the first thing I have is one of these little pouches that can be found on Amazon. And I've got a little pin up here. And inside this pouch, I have some paper clips and embellishments that I can carry on the go with me. Um, and I love these particular ones because they have card slots here but as well as on the outside so it gives you that much more storage so I've got some embellishments and this adorable paper clip from Bella's creations this little camera is from raising up rubies and then I got some washi tape these are my favorite um, this paper clip is from Willow Fields whoops and I threw that in there you know because it's super important <laughs> this is a passport holder that i found at i believe it was tuesday morning it was like three dollars and i wanted something to house my on the go like just the cards that i need and it's got pockets back here where i have like my membership cards driver's license um this insert is from Hurry Up and Plan, and it got smudged because I was in a hurry. <laughs> and she actually made this as well for my personal size planner that I cut down so that I could use it in here as well. And then back here I just got some stickers and more of my cards and whatnot. So I don't carry cash on me much, but when I do I'll tuck it in up here. All right, so I actually made this dashboard. I made it, this card is from Growing Meadows on Etsy. She has these little praise cards in her shop that I absolutely love. And I, before I laminated it, I glued um, some ephemera from Illustrative Faith on the top, kind of like a tab, so I'd have that. And then on the back, I put these sticky notes so I just glued them onto the back so that I would have these on the go as well. This is some acetate that I got at Michael's. And on the back of the acetate, so actually right here was my April scripture writing, which I finished. So I'm getting ready to make May and it will go right here. So this was so much fun. Um, I followed the Felicity Bee, which I can link that down below as well. 
So I got the little R in sequins and then I put a Happy Planner pin loop on the back. And these are some Michael sticky notes that are glued, and I was pen testing obviously. <laughs> um, they're glued to the acetate as well. Um, this is just a little card that I got. I'm not sure where that came from, but I've got it stuck to another dashboard. This is a dashboard that I made from a vintage greeting card that came in a vintage ephemera pack that I got from Raising Up Rubies. Uh, Jamie sends the cutest little things. This is actually her card that I just cut around and glued to the greeting card that I got in her ephemera pack probably a couple years ago. So I glued this on there because I love this. I love her cards. This is just a bookmark. <laughs> and in here goes my prayers, but I've got to get another one because uh, I filled up the insert that I had from Hurry Up and Plan. So that's empty right now. Um, I got another set of these card slots, which again have, I love ephemera, so I always have a lot. And I've got some stamps in here. And then I've got these little things um, with some on-the-go stickers and note paper. And back here is some more ephemera and Project Life cards. So there was the scripture writing plan. If you can see this, this is the website that I got the scripture writing plan from. It's called Inscribe the Word from the FelicityV.com. This one was about new life. Um, it was the perfect plan for April, especially with Easter and everything. So, this insert is from Hurry Up and Plan as well. This is just another dashboard. Um, I'm going to print some Annie Plans printables once I get my printer up and going uh, because I need some a to-do list and whatnot for daily. Um, this is another dashboard that I made with a card um, from a sticker subscription that I got months ago. Probably a year ago, actually. <laughs> um, so, again, the Annie Plans will go in here as well. So it's all set up waiting. <laughs> Um, whoops. So this is a folder that I made by hand out of some of my favorite paper. This graph paper is from Hurry Up and Plan as well. Um, that, and then the last thing I have in here, of course, this paper clip is from Madison and Marie on Instagram and Etsy, which I'll link her below. She has the cutest rainbow clips and I think she has some bunting and different things. And this is just more note pages because I take a lot of notes when I'm on the go. So I have that. And this is a letter pen from Zig. I would say that name, but I would probably butcher it. So it is chunky. It's about to get a little chunkier. Um, while I love so many of the TNs out there, um, I love chunky TNs and I like to have it all with me on the go. I know it looks kind of sloppy or it does to me. Maybe that's just my OCD, but um, when it's all together and everything's in place, um, it is my absolute favorite thing. If you've thought about making your own, I would absolutely encourage that. Again, you can get some leather at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and that gives you the ability just to play around with it. You know, you can make any size that you want um, because the leather pieces are pretty good size. So I just wanted to film the flip through. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.